Hello, everyone. This is the Omdina chapter um, uh, of Bangladesh. Uh, we're uh, considering the fertilizer recommendation system. Um, rice is life in South Asia, and it's very important for, um, for most people as the main uh, staple. Rice is cultivated, is the most uh, cultivated crop in Bangladesh. The population is increasing and the urbanization um, also, and therefore the land availability is, is, uh, is less as, than before. The demand for rice is increasing and therefore uh, fertilization is very important um, for improving the crop production as it's one of the main components for doing that. Uh, the methodology that we followed uh, for the project is that first we needed to determine the seasons um, of uh, uh, growing rice, the dates and the months of that, uh, of the year. And then we selected the region and the district of interest. Um, this was an arbitrary selection. And then we uh, considered these uh, the, uh, the satellite from which we are going to uh, collect data in order to uh, uh, assess the fertilization requirement of the land, of the fields. So we selected Sentinel-2SR, uh, that's the uh, surface reflectance product of Sentinel-2 that has uh, resolution of 10 meters for most of the bands and 20 meter, meters for the red, red edge band and uh, with the requirement that the cloud cover is less than 20%. After that, we masked the clouds and we took the median of the selected uh, images and we clipped the region of interest. After that, we computed the vegetation index. We tried several of these as we will dis discuss um, shortly. And then we masked the rice fields of 2017. That was a study that was done um, several years ago. Uh, we know that the, there is a shortcoming of that, but we just wanted to uh, try the rice fields only in Bangladesh of the selected region. And then we computed the mean and the standard deviation to standardize all the images uh, within the selected uh, number of years. Uh, for each of the for the each of the vegetation indices that we tried, after which we saved the images in as a geotiff format, and then we moved it to another medium. So most of the work has been done with uh, Google uh, Earth Engine, and then we moved it to another medium using ArcMap or Python to do the classification uh, for. Like as we said, uh, CLRD is, is why has wide variety range and wide variety. So we use the CLRD actually. We have wide. So yeah, instead of NDVA and as we said, NDVA is overlapping with the MCARI. So we use the CLRD for the analysis. The temporal analysis we use, uh, we take a mean of the five years and standard deviation of those five years of a particular pixel. And we calculate a particular year minus long term mean by long term standard deviation, and it ranges from minus three to plus three. Minus the uh, minus value indicates the negative stress, and positive value indicates the uh, uh, no stress. Yeah, we have categorized into four regions mainly: poor, mild stress, normal, and good. Poor ranges from minus two to minus one. Mild stress minus one to minus zero. Normal 0 to 1 and good is 1 to 2. Mainly, we have transferred into 4 according to journal papers. Uh, this is the classification map of some region of NATO. We didn't take full region because of the uh, computation. We didn't have, we have selected a certain region of NATO and we have calculated uh, the classification range. If we see the red colors are indicating the very good uh, good condition and yellow, yellow color indicates mild stress region and uh, red color indicates CVS uh, uh, poor and uh, purple color indicates uh, mild stress in this uh, good condition. We have taken the plot. In this plot, we say there are some amount of left region have been mild stress and right region has been very good condition mainly. And is in this plot, okay. If it's next, oh. okay, next, should I? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
If we see 2018 and uh, 2018, 20 and uh, 20 and 21 having high stress in nature, whereas 2019 and 22 have less stress in nature. By combining poor and mild stress, we can say these regions are stressed in nature. If it is greater than uh, poor and mild, if we combine, if it is greater than 50, we can say the plots are having stressed in nature. Look, uh, for uh, Oman region, if we say, two th say 2019 and uh, 2020 have been stressed in nature by combining this thing. If we see the, the poor condition has been rising uh, high. In 2021, they have implemented some politics to policies to get poor uh, regions very low. Next. Yeah, the limitation is that uh, that very less, very less time to complete the project. Awfully, we have one month actually. The ground truth data, like ground farmers data, is very tough to collect, so that we can't able to have process like uh, leaf area index or biomass. We can't able to process, and mainly the uh, clouds in present day from June to October prevents the data, prevents it from data collection. These are all the limitations. Next. 